Gamers. Alright, welcome back everyone to another episode of Tavern Gamers. It's five on fives finally. We're going against Mr. Voren. Uh, I'll be honest guys, this is going to be a rough five versus five. Every round I go against will have six GLs and most of them have Malgus, so let's call it seven. This guy's got nine million GP, as you can see. Six GLs. Malgus, of course. Star Killer, yeah, they all have Star Killer, so we got our work cut out for us. We're at what seven million GP and change. I got three GLs, so it's gonna be a fun but rough one, folks. Now, I do have the Data Crons for the Vader and Tarkin cheese. Um, hopefully, that like gives us a bit of an edge to, to full clear. But yeah, they full cleared us. One shot at everything. I went pretty soft on the defenses here. Kept my best ships on offense. Going forward, I probably won't use CLS on defense. Um, it works pretty good against uh, Palpatine and Star Killer, so I'll be using that more to counter that instead of a GL. But that's hindsight bias, we learn as we go. Yeah, here I would have loved to have my CLS, but we'll know for next time. Uh, yeah, gas, I mean, whatever, the Seven Sisters, uh, they're kind of garbage, we'll probably use Treya there. Vader, Ray, he's got the Relic, or level 9, Data Kron, makes this team really broken. So here, again, hindsight, you know, bias, of course, uh, we could use Palpatine, but uh, I want to try the cheese first. So this is the Tarkin cheese, I definitely won't use it again here going forward. But theoretically it's doable, I don't know what what happened here, how everything just uh, went horribly wrong, but you guys will see in a, in a moment. The Datacron, basically the level 6 one, once we start throwing our specials, it reduces our cooldowns and we try to get into an infinite loop, and then uh, one shot with the Tarkin AoE attack. Uh, this squad's probably better against Lord Vader, uh, I won't use it against Ray anymore, but again that's, you know, lessons learned. Waiting for our, our turn here, but uh, just do a basic. All right, so we pass it over to Tarkin, and in theory, right, we're supposed to just get infinite loops. But for some reason, and you guys can throw it in the comments, explain this to me. My stacks go back to zero, and not only that, but the ray keeps uh, getting turn meter and attacking. So she's, you know fucking with my loop, and my loop doesn't go past like 7 or 10 for some reason. So I can't get those high numbers you need to one-shot the team. It just keeps resetting it, so I, I don't know. It's a weird one. 
I've seen it done online, other streamers have pulled this off, so. Yeah, enjoy the fail for this uh, first round. And he doesn't keep going, so. I know they can resist it, but you only need two to stick to get the loop going. And I have pretty decent potency mods on them. See, we're looping, right? And then it just resets. It doesn't go past 9 or 10 there. It makes no sense. Maybe it has something to do with that uh, ray mechanic. She is getting turn meter, and maybe that's resetting my loop somehow. So the other cheese you can do, which hasn't worked for me well or consistently, is the Vader cheese. I'll do that in some of the other later rounds. Hindsight bias again, I would have used Vader here, or not Vader, um, I would just throw Palp and Tamborn and, and uh, not waste my time with these uh, gimmicks. We're just trying to make something work here, do some kind of damage, but the game's kind of freezing. She's doing her turn meter and fucking us, so. We'll know for the next GA for sure. We're not gonna make these uh, mistakes again. But when you're down six GLs versus three, you gotta be creative. You gotta, you know, pull the cheese out to get a win. like 200 300 stacks for that AoE to, uh, to one shot them. All right, so that she's failed. We should have used that Tarkin cheese here. It sometimes works, but uh, if Maul kills your Tarkin on his big uh, AOE first round uh, attack, you know, sometimes he'll kill your Tarkin and you're just dead right off the bat. So we'll use whatever. We're going to use uh, Kylo with Tambor and Night Sister. Kind of a cheese, but ideally you don't want to use a GL if possible when you're down. We put 
of the Datacron or Omnicron, whatever you call them, for the fucking pay to win crons. Just for the extra armor. Tambor is putting it on uh, Carlo so he gets rid of all those debuffs. Throw that on uh, Daka here, just for the extra health. So we're still stuck behind Royal Guard, then we're gonna go for a mall. So he's, he got his ultimate super quick just because of the level 9 data cron, but you can still win. It just takes a little bit more work. Also pretty annoying to throw that into secondaries for these data crons. It's a really stupid mechanic. Yeah, that's just disgusting. Dodge of course, right? Finally, I get my first ultimate. Feels a little good here. He's on his second ultimate now. We're just gonna siphon up. Getting low, hopefully no dodges. I think his dodge chance is 25%, something like that. Close to 20. We'll get there. He's on his third ultimate, like it's kinda gross. Fuck you, Lord Vader. We got you this time. So yeah, we're just debating what we use here. My uh, weakened Imperial Troopers without Piet, I mean, Piet makes these this team like top end for non-GL teams for offense, so we gotta be a little creative. We'll use Gideon here just to get the, the jump on them and hopefully we can get our turn meter train going. Gone, turn meter trains good. That was a good one shot. So yeah, not enough damage from his whistling birds, so it's pretty much done. Knowing how he can target himself with the mechanic. Alright, so. We 
got that one, good banners. I mean, we've already lost first round, but we're gonna do our best to to get some scores on the board here. So here I think I'm debating on uh, using Sith Eternal for the Ray. I mean, I still have my Vader cheese I could do. Alright, but let's clear out the Night Sisters first, I guess. I was saving my Bounty Hunters just in case uh, with Fennec for the Vader. But we already got through that with Carlos, so we're not using this anywhere else. I thought they were should have done that. Shouldn't matter too much. I mean, Bounty Hunters counter Knight Sisters. I'm just trying to go for a contract here. Contract. Yeah, let's just get Nest out. We can pick these guys off now. They auto did it. So the problem is I don't have Tambor for the Sith Eternal, so I'm gonna try the Vader cheese, although in hindsight I'm not gonna use either of these against Ray. But you guys are gonna see how this uh, goes horribly wrong. Got the relic five. You need to have all relic fives to make use of this level six bonus. And I forgot my malls only relic four. Probably just use Mara Jade here. Yeah, I don't know why I'm hovering over Scion. I think I just go with Mara Jade. So 
So the tricky part about this one is you gotta get enough dots on the ray without getting her into the damage immunity. Probably need like what, 20 to 30 stacks at least to one shot her. Uh, my bad, I was targeting her with the force crest. I should just use it on everyone else. See now she got too low, so I can't let her get to that point. I've already fucked this one up. So once my loop stops, basically their uh, Jedi training ray is gonna go for like a million turns and it's pretty much over here. Yeah, so I should have tried maybe Palpatine, got lucky with that. Now I gotta use probably another GL here. Probably use my uh, Kenobi. I kind of hoping at the time when I recorded this to maybe get enough dots she would just die on her own but it doesn't work out that way sadly. Ooh, perfect time for a drink. We're just building stacks, but it doesn't matter. Feel free to fast forward this part just a bit. Uh, eventually I'm going to get low on the timer and... Jedi Ray Training is going to just go off here. the loop here because eventually I was thinking maybe I get a turn in but yeah, it doesn't play out that way. And now she's just gonna go a million times and that's pretty much how I lose this one. By the next time my uh, five or five comes around again, I'll have uh, Maul, or not Maul, Savage. I'll have my Relic Seven, so I can maybe try soloing some five teams with him. Right now he's just Relic Five, so he's kind of useless. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I don't even get to really do anything and it's pretty much over. So yeah, basically force these can all be Kenobi, it's not tricky, it's gonna be an easy win, but it sucks we had to burn three teams on this ray. So she's got her damage immunity, we can't touch her. We can definitely fuck hold on here. Play it safe. Let's use our ultimate. So we got through one wall. I was worried about them putting some surprise gels on the back, but they didn't. Had I known that, I, again, hindsight bias, I would have probably just used help with the rain, not force the uh, cheese on the. I mean, with Tambor, this one's doable, but I've come close to losing quite a few times against Star Killer. I don't remember how this one uh, played out, but here we go. Star Killer is definitely really good. He's not Malgus good, but he's pretty close. So once I'm finished uh, farming my uh, loot, I'll go, go to Star Killer, and then I'll probably rotate to Jabba after all this. But right now, I got to focus on profundity. Uh, ships are key. So pause my loot farming. Got to get that ship. They all die off. Do I even get my ultimate here? Just need one turn.
And there goes Pell. We'll have to clean that one up. So now that Mara Jade's out of there, I can throw a Wampa. But throwing Wampa into that five team is very risky. I think the percentage win is like 20. So I don't even bother with that. But the three of them Wampa can take out for sure. So this is the first Grand Arena I'm going against a full second sister team with the with their leader. But Trey can still beat it, so I'm just kind of play testing for my own. I don't know why I threw her in there, but maybe she'll take a big hit. I think about they do no damage. So we're basically just uh, stalling for the Annihilate. We'll just pick them off. This one's in the bag, so Trey is still good. Yeah, the sister team, for all the resources you have to put into it, it's, it's kind of trash. I mean, they'll probably be good for the new hybrid light side, dark side event coming up. But for now, I mean, Grand Arena, they're just pretty underwhelming. Trey mobs them good. Here, probably gonna use. Sadly, we gotta do the mirror match. I hate this mirror match; it takes forever, but we don't have much choice. CLS sometimes can win, but I've had uh, bad luck with that at times, and I already got my CLS on the defense, so there's really no other choice from here. We're gonna throw on that data cron just for the extra armor. Rex was faster, so they got the jump on us. So 
whole minute later, we still haven't sat down yet, either of us, so you can see why I hate this mirror match. So we gotta get through fives. Hopefully they kill off one of our other guys. And fives does the sacrifice. Alright, so the AI, yeah, they, they fucked up. That's good for us. Probably a whole minute here of me trying to get their gas to sit down. Finally he sits down, now we can just go for fives. There we go, big hits. Alright, we can auto this without the match. Rex with the Assassinate there, I love it. Yeah, so I'm gonna pause it from here for the first round. I did later on go and clear pretty much everything except for maybe one squad but we lost the battle anyways so stay tuned for the next round thanks for watching so far all right so round two folks we're here we're against Rev and TP and another massive battle for round two and nothing's getting easier let's just show you guys uh, how the odds stack against us. So this guy's already got profundity, 9 million GP. And uh, what else can you expect but 6 GLs, of course. I don't see Malagus, so... Oh, there's the Malagus. Alright, so let's call it 7 GP GLs. Here we go. Hopefully my cheese counters work. I mean, Arnold did it again with the Tarkin. He took out this very squad, which we'll be showing you guys in a sec. The Lord Vader. And on the bottom they got uh, Starkiller. I'll probably have to use a GL here. And uh, Ray, so I'm not gonna try the Vader because uh, I don't trust him at this point. I don't even trust the Tarkin cheese, but we have no choice. We gotta do it. I'm using the same exact lineup that Arnold did, so it doesn't really make sense to me why it shouldn't work, but uh, you know, weird weird shit happens. It seems for me. All right, so what do we need? We need uh, Piet. Where's fucking Piet? And just a tank. Oh, we'll get Shore Trooper. All right, the same fucking lineup. We're gonna put the data cron on. All right, let's see if this works. Here we 
Really? Well, that's uh, that's the round two for you guys. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if I could have caught any worse luck with him focusing our Tarkin. Well, that sucked, Dick. All right, let's give it another go. I mean, we're just going to be farting around at this point. We're, I doubt we're going to get some holds. He's got all of his good stuff for offense, more or less. So, All right, I guess we're going to try the Fennec uh, counter. We'll see if anything else goes terribly wrong. And we need one more character here. Where is he? Alright, let's give him a little bit more armor, see if we can survive the mole onslaught. Basic here, I think we can hold off on this. Alright, let's get an armor shred. So, here we go, reverse card. Big hits. Alright, he's done. Let's see if we can get Maul out of here. To keep her alive, she's the wind condition. Maybe we should have done a basic there. Let's get rid of those debuffs. Big hit. All right, all right. I mean, he's got ultimate. That's a, a bit of a pain. See if we can go for uh, Ron here. All right, all right. We, we got a chance. Let's get rid of those debuffs. Basic here. We really need some armor shred. Big hits. Fucking die beater. Let's go for the. There we go. Tarkin failed, but Fennec has saved the day, so to speak. Alright, so that saves us at least one GL. It's not completely lost for us. I mean, they're, they're going to full clear us, but uh, I want to see if I can at least full clear them. I'm not gonna make the same mistake with Vader, I don't trust him, he's, he's fucking pain in my ass. Let's use Kylo here. So 
So we all knew that was gonna happen. Uh, let's pass that over to Kylo. Let's get a stun. We're gonna do the AoE, take out Finn. Yeah, our ultimate's not ready, so we're gonna have to time that just right. Alright, so she's doing her thing. hit her with one basic. Hopefully we can survive that. Okay, I'm gonna use it here. That was close, but we got it, we got it. Alright, I think we got it if we can do a tambor here and we'll throw in some random Sith. I doubt I'm gonna use armor anywhere, so we'll just throw her out there. Yeah, why not? Let's throw a ball in there. There goes Maul. She's got damage immunity on and she's tanking, that's pretty annoying. Ultimate time, here we go. Can we at least kill more than two people here? Okay. Didn't even get to move. And this is supposed to counter it too. I guess we gotta use our Kenobi. I was saving um, Savage for maybe a solo. I mean, Wampa is like 20% chance of winning. If I even tried Wampa, I'm not gonna do that. Could use shock T. All right, let's use shock T. Let's get rid of this uh, 
Just gotta get rid of Star Killer. Alright, we can auto this. If they have any jails on the back line, I'm pretty much fucked unless they Vader and he pulls something out of his ass. Let's see if they're hiding any jails back there. Try saving Wampa. I don't know if my Savage can solo that. Now we can use Imperial Troopers, or what's left of them, anyways. Gideon, just to make sure we get the jump on them. Where the hell's my Gideon? There he is, alright, let's go. Terminator train going, we just gotta do some big hits here. Big hits, one shot, there we go. So, I think Wampa can solo this. Let's give it a shot. For this, we're going to use probably Palp. I don't know, we already used Palp, fuck. Um, I still think Vader can do it, but he might need a little help. Alright, so let's say we use Vader.
Alright, let's just use Sith tr uh, Trooper just to take all the hits here and we should be okay. So far, so good. I mean, we got our little uh, loop going. Maybe I didn't need these uh, other two guys, but away she goes. So probably uh, Revan I think we can use for this. I mean, new gunner is kind of annoying, but they're not all relic. And yeah, the nest is there, but she's not that strong. anything too good. I mean, I have Night Sisters. I'll see if I can save my Night Sisters just in case. Uh, let's use... Old Republic, why not? And who can we throw in to make it extra fun? Ah, whatever, I'm not using her anywhere else. Let's do it. kind of shitty. Can we at least take out one of these Dark Circus? close in time, alright. It's a lot of AoE damage. Alright, 
Alright, I guess we have to try Night Sisters here. Feels like I'm doing no damage here, fuck. We already lost our guys. <laughs> Not sure why Daka didn't revive anyone. I don't remember any of these guys having an empty revive. Yeah, that makes no sense. I got Daka back, but there's no point in using the revive, I guess. Alright, we can auto this perfect time for a drink. So they don't have profundity, thank god, on defense. This should be more than more than enough, so. Slave one with the cleanup. Maybe 
get a two for one special here. That was close. I still think Finalizer is a bit of stronger, so we'll use Kenobi for that. some banners back. So this is probably not going to go super smooth. I mean, I've come close to losing this matchup. Hopefully the RNG gods don't fuck me here. Save those guys for maybe a cleanup squad. Of course, he dodges the stun. Bring in Spice, see if we can pick something off here. this and to get rid of all that uh, target lock. Alright, 
I wasn't pretty, but we got it. I guess we're going to use gas. He's only gear 12, so we'll pop him off and see if we can get the rabbits here. Faith in my Treya, because we're getting pretty low on squads now. Alright, I'm gonna throw Luke in here because I'm not gonna use him anywhere else. I wouldn't mind that AoE stun. Keep Ky Kyle Katarn under wraps, we'll throw that on the Nihilus. Hits here. Comes down to Revan taking on Hayden. So we got pretty good speed on ours, so hopefully this is enough. Alright, so that's round two, folks. Uh, I definitely think they'll full clear us, so we're gonna try to avenge our honor in round three, but uh, what are the odds? Like, I'm used to in Kyber 2 going against, you know, 
three to five, usually four or five jails, but six back to backs kind of gross. But hope you guys enjoyed round two and stay tuned for more.
Alright, so that was on me, folks. I can't blame the game. That was my fuck-up, so let's see if we can uh, steer this ship right. Now I gotta use Fennec. And we gotta hope for the best. We still gotta get really lucky on some of this. Since I fucked it up, I don't think I'll be using one of these Datacrons, but I sadly can't use it because I got a Mando here. Whatever, I'll use this one. I'm not going to be using it anywhere else. Alright, so we gotta protect her. Let's get the tongue up. I'm just gonna do it again. I gotta keep her alive. Alright, perfect. So he's out. We gotta get through Maul. Spelled the debuffs, perfect. Fennec should be able to get a big hit here. Uh, the fracture is kind of annoying, but we'll just uh, reverse that. Let's get a assist going. Basic. Close. Oh fuck, they're all dazed, I forgot. Alright, my bad. Uh, got all that fucking protection. Of course he's got to fracture my man though, that, that could have been really bad for us here, but thankfully he's back. Let's get rid of him. Fucking die already, holy shit. Alright. I'm sticking here, those dots are stacking. Oh god. No, not enough time. We'll have to bring in something to clean this up. We still got our three GLs, so we gotta just get. I mean, definitely, we'll probably use a GL here unless we use CLS. Let's let's go back to the ray for a sec. All 
Darth Vader. Let's use Maru. I don't think we're using her anywhere else at this point. Shore Trooper. Hmm. Alright, let's use Savage. I mean, I don't... I don't think I'll be using him anywhere else right now. Let's not fuck up the Datacron this time. There we go. Actually, that's too much armor penetration. It's got the dodge, but... We gotta just be careful not to get Ray and damage immunity. Alright. Just do a basic and start the chain here. Seems like she's resisting everything. Get one attack on her here. Is she just resisting everything? Oh, finally, we got two damage over time stacks. Amazing. She's resisting a shitload. I gotta check her mods after. Probably has all tenacity or something. Fuck. She's getting uh, slightly low and she has definitely not enough stacks to one shot her here. She's got that fucking uh, crit immunity. This this is gonna be really dicey. It's definitely not enough. I think I can maybe do one more. Alright, maybe let's be a little greedy here. She resisted it, of course. Oh, 
All right, I think we gotta go for it. Fuck. Well, that's unfortunate. He's gonna take um, a million turns here. Check what fucking uh, rune she's running. That that was like resisting everything. Deflection. Okay, so no resistance. So how the hell is she resisting that much? and she's resisting that much. It's kind of insane. Alright. It's Kylo time, I guess, because I can't use Palpatine. I don't have Tambor. Pretty low. I don't want to use the AOE yet. Let's see if we can just take her out. Okay. Let's see if we can take her out right here. Fucking Ray, I swear. I mean, it's pretty clear we've lost third round, they're gonna full clear, so we're just gonna have some fun and just limit test, I guess. Alright, so let's do the annoying gas mirror, because last time I CLS couldn't get through those thick uh, fives, so. And the mirror match is really annoying. But I have no other choice here. Okay, let's just put this on. Little extra insurance. They're all sevens and eights, and I got like fives, so I think we need the help. Now, if I can get lucky and they kill my uh, someone other than fives, we should be all right.
So you're a fucking ass down already, Luke. I mean, Anakin. Come on. There we go, boy. It's kinda stupid the armor shred doesn't stay permanently, but whatever. Let's clear those fucking tenacity ups. Perfect. Jedi here. Right, let's get rid of that foresight. Probably need a stun on Kenobi pretty soon here. First, let's fuck Yoda. Let's top him off, sure. We gotta time this all right. Stun here. Of course, you resisted. This is AOE. Goes, but whatever, we got through 
Quagon, I guess. We'll have to bring up a cleanup squad for that. Yeah, just nothing working right this this whole G. Alright, let's try CLS. I mean If we can get through Mara Jade we have a chance, otherwise we're gonna get fucking steamrolled here. Let's just throw that on for the armor pen. CLS pulled through this time. Good to know. Alright, we'll do the Darth Revan mirror match here. Oh, whoops, oops. Wrong squad. As you can tell, my coffee has not kicked in yet, folks. Check the speed, so it should be going first on the two key characters. Let's just do a basic. Those mirror matches can be tricky, you can get bad energy and still get fucked even if you're going first, but we got it. So maybe Kenobi for this, I really don't want to use that, but we might have to. Alright, let's see if Treya can uh, pull through.
Let's see if we can go through Beskar here. Actually, I want to isolate him. Fuck it. Bounty Hunters. I mean, the Candy Mooney is pretty low. Maybe we can pick him off. Okay. And we're getting pretty thin here. I don't have Treya for this, sadly, or Wampa or whatever, so this one's gonna be tricky. We still have Palpatine. Yeah, sadly, we have to use a GL here. I think that should be fine. Four mana. Need some armor shred to get this ball rolling. Armor Shred. 
can die already, holy shit. Yeah, that's data crunch for you folks, it's fucked up. Well, oh, that's a loss. I won't be able to get through this, sadly. All that armor shred doesn't mean shit. Yeah, so top so wash. Guess we'll have to use palp here. Three stacks, okay. All right, so the yeah, no three stacks, but we got ultimate. We have Imperial Troopers. Night Sisters and some random shit. I don't know if we'll even have enough to clear everything, but we'll we'll try. Yeah, hindsight bias, I could have used obviously if I didn't fuck up the data cron, I could have used my uh, my Sith Eternal for the Ray matchup. Should have trusted my Vader would have fucked up somehow. And sadly it did. There we go. pretty cheap. Hopefully we can still get through this.
just not hitting hard with the park. Yeah, I guess when it rains it pours, so let's see if we can clean this up with something. We got rid of the Phasma, but they still got the Omnicron. Let's try Night Sisters. I mean, we don't have much to lose here, anyways. Seven. I don't know if we're gonna have the damage to get him, but hopefully we can finish him. Cause AOEs are fucking disgusting. that one and Radis. Hmm. All right, maybe Mon Mothma and some random rebels. My rebels are really bad too. Let's try it. If I can at least maybe get through some of them, we can maybe clean up. damage there. Yeah, it's not looking good. We're stuck behind these uh, tanks and the taunts. And 
Raddus just building his little ultimate that's not good. And I don't have anything left for this. I mean, I got... What do I have? Old Republic. Not all relics. Alright, we're, we're gonna call it here, folks. Um, it was a rough Grand Arena, but again, the odds were stacked against us. Uh, they got six GLs every round, so we gave it an honest fight, some fuck-ups, but uh, we learned a few things here as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. Throw your comments out there, and stay tuned for the next video.